Thank you for checking out crypto.chartguys.com, the source for technical analysis in the cryptocurrency world. We are proud to announce our own crypto alert system designed to give you the most critical technical trading information possible no matter where you are. Keep your eyes on the market with mobile or email alerts for MACD crosses, RSI levels, and even inside bar alerts for dozens of coins across multiple exchanges. New features and proprietary chart guys indicators are already in development. Our alert system is very easy to customize and utilize, so don't hesitate to sign up for the most effective crypto trading tool on the market at crypto.chartguys.com. Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Going to be looking at Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and BCH on the every time frame. And it's a scenario where we haven't seen it in a while with everybody breaking out and looking strong. Bitcoin has not broken out. It's still definitely bullish, but in terms of what the other names have done, as we'll see in just a moment, not really comparable in terms of the upside strength that we are seeing in these other names. And I personally have not been actively trading. I'm more passively trading these days. I'm currently in the middle of moving. So I am sitting in BTC and profitable, but obviously not seeing the kind of gains that Ethereum is seeing, which is fine because again, if I were to try and trade when I'm not comfortable and when I'm out of my element, that's when mistakes are made. So looking at Bitcoin, we have a tightening range now and we could be forming an equilibrium on the daily time frame. It all depends on the next 24 hours, whether or not the bulls can break 8,400 and see continuation like the other individual names have, or whether we top out and have to pull back down towards the $8,000 range, the low $8,000 range, and have to form a higher low and see that tightening range form. So we're on the verge of this MACD, or I shouldn't say MACD, this exponential moving average cross of the 12 and the 26 period and on the hourly time frame i use this on gdax a lot and it has given good signals in the past this is it on the daily time frame when we were up at the top of this bull move i was talking about how if on consolidation we could hold these exponential moving averages that would be ideal for the bulls and at this point it is still a bull flag of consolidation only giving back you know less than 600 dollars from the top forming that higher low and now trying to see this higher high we just need a little bit more follow through and there is still some resistance that the bulls are working through so the four hour time frame look at all these upper wicks and that shows selling pressure and if you've been watching the order book it shows illiquidity where i pointed out in the video yesterday how these five minute charts or these five minute candlesticks are seeing the action you know we have a, a spike look at this fake out bear break on the five minute turnaround bull break upper wick and it's just no follow through. There's a lot of profit taking. There's no bid support backing up these bull breaks. So what happens is the order book gets cleared out on the ask with a five minute surge of purchasing and then it stops. And so then it just slowly fills back down in the area that it just came from due to the lack of support. There's no bid support continuing to drive the price up. So it's a constant battle. And after I did the video yesterday, I said, all right, you know, I hadn't, hadn't seen five minute candlesticks controlling the market like this. So I just sat there and I watched the order book on GDAX for an hour. And it is so clear that there is not much trading going on. It is all, I shouldn't say all, but it is mostly bots. They can absolutely be trading back and forth. And at this point in time, the bulls are fine with it because it's leading to bullish action. But you have to think of the incentive that these exchanges have. If we were to be, if, if Coinbase were to all of a sudden trade you know 100 bitcoin in an hour and go a minute or two in between bitcoin trades they're going to lose customers they want to see the volume keep up they want to see volatility keep up and they want to see a market that people are still excited about getting in so not only do these exchanges have incentive for these cryptocurrencies to go up for people to be interested but they have incentive for them to to appear active so i'm not specifically calling out coinbase just any exchange in general i am very confident that there's a bunch of them out there that are doing things that in the stock market would be illegal trading back and forth you know if i have two bots that are trading 20 btc back and forth with each other all day and it's only fees that are being lost and the fees are going back to the exchange that's only beneficial to the exchange and it's not illegal in any way so there's a lot of craziness going on this is not the ideal market to be trading in that's for sure and at least this is specific to Bitcoin right now because Ethereum and Litecoin have been giving some decent signals. But this five minute action on Bitcoin is really discouraging as a trader. And it's the kind of thing that you just have to sit through and wait for more volume to come in. And if you remember looking back six months ago 
on the order books for Bitcoin, there was a, a 62 or 64 Bitcoin position when the price was much higher. And that was really where our bots would be bouncing around. And now it's almost like 20 Bitcoin at these price levels, which are much lower, is enough to move this market. And you just watch the bots trade back and forth where they'll match up with each other. And once they're matched up where there's no price movement in between, it just sits there still and you can tell, okay, there's there's a whole lot of no real people buying right now. And when they're spaced out, there's just a, it's a constant game of chicken where the bid will have a certain number and it will flash up and the ask will flash down. And what it really all is doing is having bid support show up with bull bots and making the bear bots disappear. And then we go a certain ways to the upside. Then the bear bots show up and the bull bids disappear and we go right back down. And that's why we're getting all of this choppy action on these five minute time frames because these bots are maneuvering and playing chicken with each other. And rather than seeing, you know, coins being purchased to move the price, we're seeing bids and asks being pulled to move the price. There was one point yesterday when I was watching where one BTC would have moved the price $15 to the upside if I did a market order. And there's other uh, theories that, you know, these exchanges are doing this to make it so you have to use market orders. And that gives the exchanges the, the fees that they make their profit off of. So where we stand on Bitcoin, I'm watching the one hour chart for the most clarity. And we've been riding up these exponential moving average supports for the last day and a half. And we have clear higher lows. And right now I am in a position and my stop loss is right here. If we were to break this support level of 8170, I'm going to get stopped out for pretty much a break even trade, maybe as a loss with fees, but certainly acceptable. And at this point, I'm going to hold off and look for a higher high. If all these other names are hitting higher highs, you know, I'd, I could lock in some profit up here, but I would rather wait and have a pretty much break even scenario to give myself the potential of the daily continuation if we can see a break of 8,400. If we don't see a break of 8,400 and that daily equilibrium pattern I was just talking about is going to form, then I'm going to get stopped out, have a small loss of fees perhaps, and then take it from there. So it, that's the passive trading that I'm talking about. I've been in this position now for over 24 hours and I'm just sitting tight because I cannot be actively maneuvering around and jumping from coin to coin and things like that. So that's where we stand. We're currently seeing some consolidation on Bitcoin on the hourly, testing these exponential moving averages and the bulls want to see it hold. We're looking at 8,300 and 8,400 as the two resistances and support is 8,170. The bulls are attempting to form a higher low right now, perhaps at 8,210 ideally. And if we lose 8,170, we're looking down at 8,105 and 8,101. So a little double low right around that level as well. So overall, the bulls are absolutely keeping control. It's just not the ideal kind of trading environment. All these upper wicks and those five minute candlesticks, certainly illiquidity is leading to a much more difficult trading environment. Ethereum bull break today, huge follow through daily chart, bull flag confirmed, exponential moving averages crossing here as well. RSI is up now over 60 on the daily time frame, and the four hour chart has just been perfect. Why did Ethereum and Litecoin break bullish today and Bitcoin did not? Well, Ethereum and Litecoin did not lose their four hour higher low pattern and Bitcoin did. So we were one step ahead of the game on these names. It's just been four hour higher low after higher low inside bar bull break. I posted this signal on trading view. I post uh, charts on trading view every weekday morning on the big three. And it was a cup and handle pattern I posted and I said, keep an eye out. And I posted it right here. And the makings of this pattern are resistance, the consolidation in a, a cup shape, Inability to break resistance, we ended up with about a double top. And then we saw healthy consolidation, which ended up being a bull flag, and then a breakout on increasing bull volume and a huge move and huge follow through. So the clear entry signal here, if not in a position, was the break of the double top uh, in the 537s. And we ran up to the 560s and a, a solid, let's see, what percent gain is that? A solid 3% gain very quickly on that move over a couple of hours and looking really good on this move. Healthy consolidation currently underway. Look at the volume. Increasing bull volume, decreasing bear volume. That's exactly what the bulls want to see. And the four-hour time frame, not only was that uh, pattern to signal, the, the bull flag, but it was also a four-hour inside bar. The four-hour inside bar broke bullish at 536, so a little bit of an even earlier signal. Look at the increasing bull volume that I just pointed out, but here on the four-hour time frame, just each candlestick increasing bull volume on the way up and low bear volume on consolidation. Ethereum's just looking really good. And we were watching it so beat up and it was so beat up that this bounce is now getting 
you know, a more magnified move for these bulls. And we're going to be looking for healthy consolidation. Anything above 528 will be very healthy, keeping the bulls in full control. And where we are set up with Ethereum, Litecoin, and BCH, all three which have broken much more bullish than Bitcoin, if we see healthy consolidation and then we see Bitcoin make a bull break over 8,400, these names are going to be positioned really well to continue to benefit from that. Litecoin on the daily time frame also seeing its continuation, and we were highlighting the lack of resistance in the 140s and even into the 150s on this daily chart, and the bulls working through those levels pretty easily. Four-hour time frame, also, again, we did not lose the higher low pattern. So we had the four hour higher low. We had another one, another one, and another little bull flag up here, just remaining in control the entire time, stair stepping higher, and a significant bull move most recently. Look at the hourly chart signal here. We had a bull break, not much follow through, healthy consolidation, and then we really took off with the volume again. Look at the volume bull volume versus bear volume, very favorable. Look at the weekly chart now for Litecoin, and this is getting to a spot where we're looking good on this equilibrium i look at the range we have our high low lower high higher low what is the range of this last move and i'm looking at 252 down to 110 essentially so that's a lot of space in between that's 142 dollars. so if we bounce 71 dollars from the low to put us at about 180 that would be right in the middle of this equilibrium so we still have a ways to go before getting into the center of this equilibrium. And what this tells me is the percentage odds of which direction we're going to break. If this were to be our top right now and we were to begin pulling back, that would favor the bears because we're much closer to a bear break. If we get our way up to 180 right in the middle of this range, then it's going to favor the bulls because the overall trend leading up into this pattern and otherwise it would be a 50-50, but the prevailing trend will give it a slight edge for the bulls. So that's the same scenario where Bitcoin is looking to get up to 9,000 to get into the middle of its range. Here we go on the weekly equilibrium pattern, getting rid of these lines, but looking for the weekly chart to make its way to 9,000 so we can be at a, a slight bull advantage, but right in the middle of the equilibrium is, is what we're going for here. So Litecoin bulls, Nice follow through, same kind of consolidation currently ongoing, still very healthy. The last four hour support that was established is down here at 139.07. Anything above that level keeps the bulls in full control. And on the hourly time frame, you can see again, potential bull flag even here on the hourly, still very healthy. It's going to require increasing bear volume for any kind of red flags on these names. And right now we don't have any sign of that. So bulls looking pretty good on Litecoin and Ethereum, BCH as well. So BCH daily time frame, look at that bull volume. Inside bar bull break at 786 and not looking back. Weekly time frame is similar to Ethereum though. We're not going to change the trend on this bounce and we're not going to change the trend anytime soon. We have to see a lower high, higher low, higher high, and that's going to be a ways off. Same thing with Ethereum. Looking at Ethereum on the weekly, we're going to see a bounce. It's going to be a lower high on the weekly, and then we're going to have to form the higher low and higher high to change the longer term trend. But BCH has been great. Uh, all today, look at this four hour pattern, just all strength, big bull volume, low bear volume. It's been a long time since we've seen perfect breakout conditions on these names where volume is acting really well and we're seeing the bulls hold their moves. So, higher lows on these four hour time frames the whole way up, currently healthy consolidation. Overbought, absolutely. Keep in mind that the RSI levels on all of these names that are correlated to Bitcoin can get more extreme under the conditions that if they break bullish and then Bitcoin breaks bullish as a laggard, that's going to add additional strength to the move. And that's going to make the RSI levels get more extreme, which is what we've seen in all three on the shorter term timeframes. So looking at the hourly chart for BCH, still very healthy. Inside bars have been great. Daily inside bars. Here's an hourly inside bar bull break. We now have an, uh, another inside bar forming, potentially telling us further consolidation is coming. But right now I'm looking at support of 950.86. And then I'm looking down at 931.23 and all bulls at this point on BCH. And what we were watching earlier on BCH, I posted this chart where I said this morning, and again, follow me on TradingView if you want to see these charts every morning. But, and actually this was one that I posted in the chat room. But what I was looking at was a tightening pattern with a break imminent. So this morning I was watching this right here, this downtrend resistance line. And in terms of a support line to show a tightening range, I was just looking at a little bit of an uptrend and I wasn't really concerned with the support line. I was more concerned with the resistance. And right about here in the morning, I get on at seven in the morning and I start to go through the charts and I said, 
break imminent on BCH. I didn't know if it was going to break bullish or bearish. It's slight edge to favoring the bulls because of the prevailing trend favoring the bulls. And we saw a huge breakout very quickly and then continuation. So clear signal here to give plenty of heads up was the first signal was here at 897 and the late signal was here at 899. And once it got triggered, a lot of stop buys got triggered. So a little bit hard to get into that move with that kind of momentum already going, but certainly paid off pretty much wherever you got in starting on that breakout. Huge gains in a short amount of time on BCH. So that's where we stand on the big three. Again, the question everybody's looking at tonight is, can Bitcoin see continuation and break 8,400? If, if it can, we're going to be looking for legs up, another leg up on all three of these names that are already bullish. And that's going to have us get very extended on the RSI levels on the shorter term timeframes. But again, correlation to Bitcoin is certainly favoring the bulls in all three of these other names. Obviously, in hindsight, I certainly would have chosen Ethereum over Bitcoin, but got into this trade a while ago and not going to be able to, you know, jump in and out of coins. So not really worried about it overall because there will always be another trade. I don't have to worry and say, oh man, I'm missing everything because we've got 20 more, 30 more years to be doing this. And one day, one move, no biggie. So I appreciate you all watching and I'll continue to check in the next few weeks, the next few months. I'm going to be bouncing around a lot, traveling a lot, going to blockchain conference at the end of may i'm looking forward to and uh things are going to be a little bit different in terms of scheduling but i'll still be getting videos out every day and traveling with my microphone and doing all that so timing of the videos might change up but consistency won't be fa uh, affected too much so for today's do good things i am going to go continue to teach technical analysis but rather than doing it online doing it with friends in person i have a group of friends that is are learning here in town and just do meetups, answer questions and things like that. And that's something that a lot of you can do as well. If you have a friend that is even showing the slightest inkling of interest in cryptocurrency or, or trading or technical analysis, it's very easy to just pass on a little information or, you know, continue to spark that motivation a little bit more uh, with, you know, your insight and things that you have learned and, and collaborating in that way. So that's what I'm going to be doing, and I hope some of you do that as well. Continue to pass on, pay it forward with knowledge. Thanks again. We'll see you tomorrow.